<laughs> I don't want my image fast in any place. And I know I walked right in front of your cameras. Right. And I'm going to do it again. Well, that's but I don't want my image anywhere. No, you don't have a right to take my picture and use it for your purpose. Well, well, we're, all, we're all out in public, man. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't sure it matter. Does. You don't have our permission to do that. Hey, but was anybody asking you what we were doing? Everyone was asking. Really? <laughs> and what'd you tell them? I got an owner. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press. And today we're in a town called uh, either Pepperell, Pepperell, I'm not sure, uh, here in Massachusetts. And uh, up the road there's the post office. I'll uh, sit here for a minute, wait on AP to make his way over here uh, while I do my intro. But yeah, Massachusetts is our first time making a video here in Massachusetts. Uh, and my first time being here also, except for a couple days ago we drove through. But, uh, like I said, we're at the post office. And as usual, we're going to see if the folks here respect our First Amendment right to take video on public property and uh, inside the public building. I'll put a map on screen of all of the states we've done videos in now. Massachusetts added onto the list. And I also have an interactive map with pins on it uh, of all the videos we've done. You can check them out, click the pins, and uh, get links to all the videos. And you can also check out my playlist if you're looking to see if we've been to your state. I have uh, all the videos organized into playlists by the state, so you can check that out. And we are on a 15,000 mile plus road trip all around the country right now, so it's a great time to make sure you're subscribed, have notifications turned on so you don't miss any new videos, and uh, see if we pop up somewhere near you. So today is Tuesday, July 26, 2022. It's 2.19 p.m. and uh, 79 degrees and pretty cloudy out. So it's pretty nice out. And uh, we'll see how these folks are doing here today and if they respect our right to film in public or if they try to give us a hard time. So we'll see. So uh, AP was just talking to the highway department guy and evidently the name of the town is Pepperell. You'll see how it's spelled. I'm sure they have it written on the post office here. Here's the post office here in uh, Pepperell. <laughs> and I uh, also want to mention for any of you guys who haven't seen the recent videos, I did come out with stickers that you guys can purchase uh, on my eBay site. Worldwide international shipping and uh, four quantity options. You got individual stickers, three pack, five pack, ten pack. And a lot of you guys have been interested so far. Yeah, so the link will be in the description for that if you're interested. And remember to send me in your pictures, guys. If you uh, get your stickers and you put them on anything cool, or you want to send in a picture of how you used your sticker, uh, I've had plenty of people all around the country uh, send in their pictures already. And uh, people all around the world have ordered them, many uh, different countries and stuff. So check it out. Worldwide shipping, like I said. And uh, we'll see how this goes at the Pepperell Post Office today. Hey, man, get out there and watch me. What's up? What's happening? Oh, no, he's not tall enough. He's standing on the <laughs> curb here. So what's going on? What's Pepperell. I found out how to say it the right way. Yeah, I heard that. I asked the lady at the VFW hall, and then I asked the uh, guy here in the truck that was here before, the town worker. He's the, uh, he's the tree warden, so it's Pepperell. Cool. And there you have it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to check out the post office here for you today. We will uh, do the usual, take a look around the outside, see what's going on, check the property out. Uh, then we'll go up to the front door. Uh, see what kind of signage they have on the door, see what's going on there. And then at some point we will be going in to buy a stamp. Uh, for those of you who uh, are new to the channel, welcome. And uh, just so you know, when we do post offices, we always uh, buy a stamp. I give the stamp and the receipt to Mrs. AP and she's building up a nice little uh, stamp collection in a scrapbook. Be something for this guy here one day. So you ready? Yep. Cool. Let's go have a look. So it seems like a pretty big post office. I'm not exactly sure. Um, how many people live in this town. It seems like a pretty small town, but uh, post office is pretty decent size. So look at that, we got the Postmaster Reserved Parking Space over here. So it appears that the Postmaster is in. We 
which uh, may or may not be a good thing. So this sign says, do not enter, which is a traffic sign, directing traffic not to enter. Sign right below it says, postal vehicles only. And the sign just below that says, employee parking only. Let's see over here on the sidewalk, a little footpath, uh, there's no signage at all. So. So as you can see over there, uh, they have their no trespassing sign on the door, marking that as a restricted area, and uh, ring bell for service. So this is a public area, as evidenced by all the signage. And hopefully nobody will try to tell us otherwise, you know, that happens sometimes. Maybe this could use a little work. Wonder what that is. Maybe the uh, postmaster gets housing with us. Oh yeah, it's the postmaster's Maybe. official residence. Postmaster's man cave. <laughs> so let's All see right, what we so got going on here. here. Methods of payment. Post yeah. office is hiring. Seems like the post office is always hiring, right? Yeah. I guess when you have that many employees. Starts at 19 an hour. Those jobs aren't available. <laughs> so you have your hours here. And uh, this is a smoke-free facility. Only animals assisting the handicap are allowed. And uh, that's it. Now on this door, we have this sign, which at one point probably was their payment options. And uh, let's see. Bugs up here. That's about it. Bugs. <laughs> the bugs in the They're northeast, man. <laughs> Just had something crawling on me. So same thing. They're very consistent with the uh, signs on their doors. Oh, looks like we got a mail truck. Coming in. So there's a guy, I didn't even see him because uh, I was looking at the post office building. But this guy came, picked up his mail, didn't say a word to us, didn't even really look at us. And uh, as he's pulling out, decides to give us the finger without me even looking at him. Watchman was looking at him, I don't know. So uh, well done for the guy in the Toyota, I guess. That camera really doesn't look that scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Maybe because I know it so well. Hey, it's like a pit bull. Yeah, it's like a pit bull, exactly. Cameras are like pit bulls, good point. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, my sure, absolutely. If you could put it on a check, that'd be even nicer. I know, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you'd be happy, but I would be. Yeah. Enjoy your day, man. There you go. Yeah, mine's in the mail, too. <laughs> you too. Have a good one. Oh, I'm just taking video. But for what? Making a video. But how can you take a video of somebody without their permission? I don't know. How, what, what do you mean? Well, if I'm going in on the post office, what do you do with my picture on your video? I mean, wherever it goes. I mean, but what, what does, it, does it make a difference what I use it for? Yeah, because it's my picture. That, well, it's my picture. I took it on my camera. No, you don't have a right to take my picture and use it for your purposes just because you feel like it. Well, actually, that's, that's actually right, exactly the right that I have. When did your right become more important than my right to privacy? Privacy on Or, you know, why, why can you take my picture and do with it what you want? Because you're in public? Yeah, I don't think it works that way. It's copyright, it's permission. And... I, got you. I, I would really love to entertain the question. What do you, 
I don't think that you have the right to then, I, you can film what you want, but I don't think you should have the right to do what you want with my photo. Out in public? Yes. Well, I'll ask you a question. Have you, have you ever been to a theme park? Have you ever been to like Disney World? Yep. And did you take any pictures while you were there? Have I? Yeah, did you take any pictures while you were at Disney World? Well, when you're, that was my point. If you took a picture at Disney World, I was going to ask you if you asked the other 4,000 people standing behind you for their permission. I don't take pictures of other people when I'm doing that stuff. And I certainly don't go stand outside of business or other places and take pictures of people going to walk in. But I do. I, I probably don't do something that you do. Yeah, probably doesn't not. make doesn't mean you're wrong. doesn't mean you're wrong either, but right. I don't think you have the right to do what you want with my picture. Okay. I'm counting people. You nailed it. For what reason? Well, see, now I know what happened. Now you now you went inside and the clerks inside the post office piqued your curiosity. No, no, no. The year being out here piques my curiosity. Oh, well, you asked me on the way in what I was doing. I know. And you suggested I might be counting people, and I said yes. But for what purposes? For oh, what? well, that's a whole other conversation. For, for what group? What makes you think it's for a group? Hey, anything today out of the ordinary is for a reason. Well, anything even in the ordinary is for a reason. Well, granted. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, well, I, are you going to put this on Facebook or something or YouTube or, you know? Is oh, it I never know what I'm going to do with it, but my, my point is this young lady that just left in the car here yep. was asking me if it's okay to be taking pictures and photographs of people in public. Without their permission. Oh, so you think that might be the case as well? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ordinarily, if you're going to take a picture of a person, it's someone you know. I don't know you. You don't know me. So, like, when the news goes out and they're doing something out yeah, on but, the street? but they identify people with people's names, and you know that is either ABC, CBS, Channel 5, Channel 7. Right. You know who they are. And what about but I don't. I don't know who you are. What about all the people riding around with dash cameras in their cars? Well, they're doing that for accident reasons. Well, I'm doing mine for a reason. But it's not for accidents. So that's, a pu that's public safety. Are you doing it for public safety? Uh, you know what? In a roundabout way, yes. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I don't know. It just sounds too wacky to me. I'm sorry? You guys are filming? Yes. yes. What are you doing with the film? What am I doing with the film? Yes. There's, first, of, first of all, there's no film anymore. It's all digital. Well, <laughs> there's, you know I mean. There used to be film when I was all right, back in the day. Oh, I'm not trying to argue with you. I don't want my image plastered in any place. And I know I walked right in front of your camera. Right. And I'm going to do it again. Well, that's but I don't want my image anywhere. Well, well, we're, all, we're all out in public, man. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't sure it matter. Does. You don't have our permission to do that. Why would I need your permission? That's silly. Did you need my permission to wear a bag today? Well, no, this is a federal place, federal grounds. Why are you right. on federal property? Federal property this? is public property, man, unless you're in a restricted area. This is a publicly accessible area of public property. Well, well, I would suggest not living in fear. You know, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Oh, so that's amazing. Uh, this lady said, "I walked in front of your camera already, and I'm going to do it again. But don't look at me. Don't show me in your video." freedom to take pictures and uh, video out in public, all of those rights should disappear because somebody felt uncomfortable about being on a camera. Think about that. I mean, it's ridiculous. So the group of Feelings Police Karens finally were able to assemble themselves into a group and come out and confront us all at once. Um, I guess they were all upset and wouldn't say anything by themselves, but somebody finally took the bull by the horns and came and confronted us, and then they all come out. I don't know what people's big issue is. And they all said the same thing, so they must have been talking about it. Hey, no. Good, how are we all? Good. What are we filming? What are we filming? You right now. Nice. <laughs> what do I look? Yeah. You look, uh, you look like a guy who works hard for a living. Try to. There you go. It's a Walsh. 
That's that guy's in this truck here. Walsh Brothers Construction. And, uh, you know, normal person. They try to give us a hard time over taking pictures. You wouldn't believe what a full magnet this is. <laughs> but you seem like a gentleman. So I'm Try travel, traveling the country with my son defending our Constitution. Well, power to you. Yeah. I love it. That's, all, that's what it's all about. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to let the, this young lady go by because she'll run in and tell the clerks what we're doing here. Um, basically, what we're doing is simple as it, I could break it down for you is I'm exercising my right to take video and photographs in public. That's it. That. No other intent. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, and I travel around my best buddy, my son here, and yeah. we, uh, we get her done, man. That's and we great. end up having some wonderful. Well, thank you for your uh, Appreciate you. efforts. You. you know. Oh, and I, you know what? We wind up having some wonderful conversations with some folks like yourself, and yeah. then we wind up having some other conversations with people. Yeah, I can understand that yeah. too. Yeah. People call the police on us. I mean, you can't even for imagine. What? Just taking pictures. For taking pictures, deal? because people think you're not allowed to do that. They're getting. Uh, I don't know, people's thinking it's going down the toilet these days. Let's just put it that uh, way. Half the country, anyway. Maybe a little I more. I think it's more than half. Yeah, just a little yeah. more, I think, yeah. You know, we used to, back in the day, we used to make our decisions, I still do, but guys like us used to make our decisions based on logic and exactly. thinking things out. These right. days, it's all about emotions. I know it. What do I want? What do I want now? Exactly. No, no, no. Give everyone a trophy. <laughs> yeah, give everyone, because you showed up. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, you've got a trophy today, and I appreciate you. Uh, uh, thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah, Thanks. no problem. Yep. And, uh, if you want to see the video, if it winds up going up anywhere, go on YouTube and just search Pepperell Post Office okay. the next couple of days. All right. If it's up there, it's up there. If not, you never know. Okay. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Anybody watching, visit, uh, call up Walsh Brothers for all your construction needs. <laughs> yeah. He just pulled on the way in. I can tell you want to know what we were doing. Uh, but he kind of just made a little comment, went inside, smiled on his face, didn't give us a hard time, didn't get upset, not calling the cops, not acting like a yeah, see, that's a normal guy. We uh, told, AP told him what we're doing, and he said, yeah, what's the big deal about filming? Why would they call the cops? Why would they have uh, an issue with that? And it's true. What's the, uh, what's the problem with that, you know? So let's head in and get our stamp. Check out the inside of the building and uh, see how it goes. This is AP. Wish us luck. You never know. Post office boxes here. It's nice and cool in here. Very cool and very dry. It's great. Public information. Stuff here. Yeah, it's 85 degrees in here in January. Bet you they pumped it. Yeah. Seven. And here's your drop off areas. Have a good day, sir. You too. Thank you. So here's your mail deposit area. Hello. How are you doing today, sir? Good. How are you? How's it going? Doing good. 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 If you guys need me, I'll be just in the back. You can tap this bell right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to need to buy a stamp in a minute. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. So here are the uh, gift cards. Hallmark cards. I always think it's strange that, uh, well, I guess it's not strange. I don't know. It seems strange that they sell Hallmark cards, but I guess last minute you can 
stand in line and remember, <laughs> and fire it off all at once. Uh, so decorative shipping supplies, there's some regular shipping supplies here. Oh, look, they got a little thing with which uh, snaps they got. Oh, man, it's got a cool bell. <laughs> there you go. Uh, can I just get, uh, actually, how many should I get? I guess I should get a few. Yeah, how many right. stamps are in like a book of stamps? 20 stamps in a book. All right, I'll take uh, two. Okay. Anything Please. in particular? Whatever you grab, it's fine. All right, two books. $24, please. $24. All right, let me just make sure this thing's not going to fall over here. Go. How's the world treating you today? So far, so good. Good. No complaints. Excellent. How about you guys? Doing good. good. Everyone nice to you guys out there? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I'm thick skinned, so. Good. Right. <laughs> Did anybody, was anybody asking you what we were doing? Everyone was asking. Really? <laughs> and what'd you tell them? I got an owner. I've seen your channel, so. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, very cool. cool. So you said to yourself, if these guys ever come into my place, I'm, I'm, ready. I'm not making a fool out of I'm myself. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And is it Amir? Amir, yes, sir. Very cool. They're just out there doing their job. That's awesome. And you told them that? Yes, sir. And did they press you for an answer at all? Or? Uh, a couple of them did, but... Because it's funny. You know what I always notice? Like, people will come, walk past us coming in, yeah. and they'll, oh, what are you guys doing? Maybe a little inquisitive, whatever. No big deal. See you later. Yeah. And then when they come out, sometimes there's a little rage added to the... And I always feel like that's because the people behind the counter might have flared them up a little bit, because they do that, not here. But uh, Amir is a uh, golden example of how a postal clerk should act behind the counter. Thank you. No, seriously, and it really means a lot. It's not a small thing. It's not. We're definitely not out to antagonize people. It's not what we're about. Right. We love having these kind of conversations, leaving things in a positive way. Absolutely. Uh, just trying to spur some critical thinking and uh, you know maybe have a little conversation that maybe down the road will help one of us out. Or, yeah. Just, you know, keep things, keep us talking to each other. There's a lot of things in this world that are designed to keep guys like you and me uh, on opposing sides of the fence, you know? And I don't buy into any of that mess. I think we all got to get along, and you've uh, done your part here with that today, so I, I really appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you, Amir. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You as well. Take care, Thank guys. Appreciate it. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. I almost went out the door that's not a door. <laughs> you got to go through the part that moves, not the station every part. All right, so I got my uh, stamps and uh, nice. got my receipt. AP got his and, stamps uh, and his receipt. And uh, that's good to see. Uh, the guy in there, Amir, working behind the counter, uh, said he's watched our videos before. He knows all about it. And he knows we're not doing anything wrong. And that that's what he was uh, explaining to any customers that asked him. And... Uh, yeah, that's great. That's all. That's the best we can hope for is that uh, the postal employees are informed on what's uh, what's allowed on postal property, what's within our rights, and what's not. And uh, seems like at least Amir. I don't know about the other employees. He uh, he's informed. So that's good to see. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, contact info is always in the description as usual. If you want to contact the post office and uh, give them any feedback on how any of the employees handled uh, the situation here today, or uh, if you have any other comments about the post office, feel free to uh, let them know about that. And that's about it for this one. So, like I said, the contact info is in the description, as well as uh, playlists for every state, like I was saying, uh, where to buy the stickers, channel memberships. Uh, my other social medias, Instagram and Twitter, are down there. The link to the interactive maps in the description as well. And if you guys appreciate this video, you like what we do, and you want to see more videos like this, help us keep traveling all around the country full-time in the RV, uh, on our 15,000 plus mile road trip right now. Best way to help us out is to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, check out my Instagram and Twitter. And uh, if you're interested, check out the stickers and uh, channel memberships. So watching The Watchmen, out with Amagansett Press here in uh, Pepperell, Massachusetts. See you on the next one, guys. Out.